under a lot of pressure today. What has really caused this? What's been the biggest disappointment in the numbers? Yes, Shah Style has disappointed the street with its earnings. Revenues have come down to single digit. Margins have gotten hit very hard and the company is facing a lot of pressure in its core search business on account of Google as well as um, you know, vertical specific classifieds. On to the numbers then. The top line growth stands at 6.2% year on year. A significant slowdown from the 25% plus revenue growth that we witnessed three years ago. Lower than the 10 to 15% revenue growth that we had in the past three quarters. Uh, this has impacted the margins as well. So margins have fallen from nearly 27% all the way down to 16 to 17 percent. Uh, the key reason for the margin pressure is the company added significant feet on the ground or sales force in order to ramp up their revenues. So this quarter they've added about 600 people or 600 in their sales force and that has impacted the margin. And going forward as well, margins will be under pressure, A, because of the sales force addition which will continue. 2,000 to 2,500 people will be added as feet on the ground to ramp up revenues. And secondly, they will start this ad campaign of nearly 100 crore rupees starting September so these two will impact the margin but despite a weakness in margins profits have looked up up 8% on account of higher other income as well as lower tax uh, lower taxes this time the street uh, has you know the companies the stock has seen a lot of downgrades of late people are not convinced about the long-term visibility and growth reviving for just style which is why that stock has seen a fall of nearly 45% since the start of the year and Q1 numbers are definitely not flattering Thanks for that detailed analysis, Zarima. Yes, uh, trouble all over for Just Dial, margins, revenues, uh, and one hopes uh, adver advertisements uh, will uh, deliver the bacon. Ramkumar Krishnamachari, the CFO, spoke to us, and uh, he says uh, he is hopeful of seeing double-digit growth by Q3 or Q4 when the payments, uh, when perhaps an advertisement blitzkrieg will help her. Let's listen in. I am hopeful that whatever actions that we have taken should uh, start uh, seeing results in Q3, Q4 onwards. So you would get into a run rate of double digit growth from Q3, Q4 onwards. Uh, that's uh, our belief. And the full impact of that should uh, come in FI18. We are confident, uh, you know, perhaps in one or two quarters uh, I'll have more clarity, but we are confident that it will be in double digits. Margins are going to be under pressure uh, uh, at least uh, for the next uh, few quarters and now with uh, advertising uh, that's going to start um, uh, pretty soon uh, sometime in September that will add to the uh, pressure on margin. Um, we, uh, we believe these are necessary uh, investments that we have to make in the, over the next few quarters so uh, uh, you know we are not uh, that, uh, that much worried about uh, margin compressing uh, in the short term. That was